welcome to another episode of Alcoholic Family. We're your hosts, Aura and Sarah, as usual. So we've been gone a little, little bit, haven't we? We have. But uh, yeah, we're back and we're back with an absolute smashing of an episode because today we have... Whiskey. <laughs> so we're going to go for the £10 whiskey versus the £100 whiskey. And I feel like this would be a good comparison against expensive and uh, popular, because this is one of the most popular... Um, By popular, he means cheap. Yes. Or, you know, the most brought anyway. So, um, yeah. And because it is in a bottle and looks cheap, we're going to decant it into our cheap decanter. Okay, so should we uh, do, do that first out of the way? Okay. Well, when, we, when you open it, we'll take a smell first to get the... Okay. You ready? Okay, so Red Label by uh, Johnny Walker. So neither of us are actually wh wh whiskey drinkers, so we actually have a, you know, probably a bad opinion about whiskey. It doesn't smell too... it smells a bit spicy. But it kind of smelled like, um, like gin that's been like halfway through, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know when we were when doing we made, the gin episode? Yeah, when we made our own and it was in the process. Yeah. Should we just put 25 mils in the jar, in the glass? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do the 25 mils first. Pull that into there and make it look posh. It's a nice colour. It is, it's quite golden and rich, isn't it? Yeah. The red label is a blended whiskey, whereas the Plinfridic is a single malt. So the difference between that, it just means that this came from one distillery while this is possibly a mix of um, two or more distillery uh, wh whiskies that have been blended together. Also, this one could, could contain grain as well as malt, whereas that's malt only. And now for the time we've been waiting, we have the £100 or more than £100 because the price isn't, you know, 100% with these. I'm going to lay it down when I open it because... It You're not going to open it for this camera, no? Oh, oh, I could. Yeah. You can do that bit. Okay. Here we are. So if I just open it here, we have... Just don't let the bottle fall out. This nice bottle here. Let's pull that out. Ooh. Look at that. And you want to read what it says on the label? I can read what it says on the label. Single, uh, single malt Scottish whiskey has been aged for 15 years, personally bottled at the Glenfiddich Distillery. Glenfiddich. What? Glenfiddich. At the Glenfiddich Distillery. And then it has uh, its uh, cast strength, which is 59.5%. It's also bottle number 250 because it's a limited edition. And I feel really bad opening it. But we're going to open it. <laughs> this was actually a gift for one of the alcoholics in his family from somebody that he made a car for. Thank you, Chris, whoever you are. Oh my god, I feel so expensive and powerful holding this in my hand. It's weird. <laughs> May I have the honours? You can do the honours because oh I feel really Ooh. bad doing it. I'm just going to tear this. The build up. <laughs> do you need some nails? I do need nails, but I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh that was amazing. <laughs> that was a good one. Ooh. Smells a lot stronger oh, than, uh, than this one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's all. Right. You, you may have the honours of pouring it. Ooh, it doesn't look as golden. It looks slightly... It thick. looks a bit more pale, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. I just want to go... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lay my face in front. Oh. We raised your fabric in the bun. I don't know if you can see the difference in the colours. So this one here is Red Label, and this one here is Glenfiddich, the £100 one versus the £10 so one. Single malt, and that could possibly contain grains as well, being a blended scotch. They're both from Scotland, obviously. But this one's so much more paler. Yeah. So, do you think we should try the Red Label, the cheaper, more expensive, uh, le less expensive one? Yeah. The £10 gin. Here you are, cheers. Cheers. Gin? It's whiskey. Okay. <laughs> 
As I said before, it, it hints of spice, isn't it? Yeah. But then that's all whiskey, isn't it? Mmm. Uh, as you can tell, I really don't like whiskey. It burns. It burns, but it's also quite soft. It's actually quite smooth, but then you've got like a burn after. A burning throat. sensation going down your yeah. throat and nose. Mm. It's quite sourish for a. No palate cleanser. There is no palate cleanser. It's quite <laughs> sourish for um for a wh whiskey, isn't it? I didn't expect that from it. Yeah. Would it be wrong to put lemonade in it? I feel like it w w would be wrong, and it would be an unbiased, <laughs> it would be a biased review. Oh, that has such a more powerful smell, doesn't it? I haven't actually smelled it yet. Have you not? Uh, no. Give it a smell, give it a Ooh. smell, don't try it out. Mm. Hold on. It smells like a bit lemon. It actually smells nicer. It does. If you... This... It, this one smells um, like it has a bunch of spice chucked in, and it, this one smells more kind of like soft herby ish, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. All right, 100 okay. pound whiskey, you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, I prefer the taste. Ooh, it's quite tangy. Ooh, it doesn't ooh. seem to burn so mm. much, but. My, I think my face actually said that I prefer the taste because the first one I know my face screwed up and that one it did <laughs> It doesn't burn, it's quite soft, it's quite like it's, smooth it, Yeah, it's like a smooth feeling Oh, it's got like a sour sensation which just fills your entire mouth, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. yeah, definitely oh, That one's quite nice mm. I don't feel like, I feel like I could actually finish Ooh. that just the 25 mil and I wouldn't need to add lemonade so there was that one, I was like, I can't think that is Oh, this tastes like it's like fresh. Like, mm. oh. We did add one ice cube. Yeah. As, as I'm always being told from the bar I work in, that, oh, one ice cube, that's all you need. But, um, yeah, I feel like this one has definitely a lot more um, punch and kind of like almost a fruity way, but not quite. What, what, what do you think about it? Like smooth, a smooth feeling in your mouth, but it coated the whole of your mouth. Mm. Whereas that one just went down and burnt. Yeah. <laughs> this one like reached like the chin cheeks of my mouth, and this one went just straight down my throat and up my nose. Mm. Did you get the same kind of sensation? Though? I didn't get the up the nose feeling. No, <laughs> but I did get it down your throat and like it's like a weird. Tingly burning feeling after. Mm, it is. Yeah. That's that's whiskey though, isn't it? It is. Whiskey. <laughs> yeah. But oh, hundred percent. Like, you can definitely tell the difference. Definitely. Mm. I mean, you can straight you away. Can... <laughs> looking at the colour, you can just tell it's paler. It smells better. It's softer. It's softer to drink. It's fresher. Oh, it's just everything about it is a plus to me. Rich whiskey all the way. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want the uh, the ten pound uh, <laughs> the ten pound cheap um, yeah red right, label. That's sorry, that's going back in the box and back on the shelf. <laughs> that's the one we're now with the other alcoholic family to. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I would say final scores. What would you say for the red label? Let's start. Well, because I don't like whiskey, so that instantly I've got to put that out of my mind. Okay, let let's say the average whiskey is a five. Okay, right. Um. The average whiskey, always think of Bells. This is a better colour than Bells. I feel like this was a lot less harsh than what other whis whiskeys could be. Yeah. Um, and it's a lot about the spice and about kind of like the power behind it. When I was a kid, my nan drank teachers. Probably not a whiskey that you've ever heard of, but she always drank teachers. And it was darker than this. It had a more stronger smell to it. And yes, I did, I did taste it, of course. <laughs> so I would actually say that this is better than that. So this one, I'd actually give a seven. You know what, I think I'm on the same page for you. It's good, it's it's cheap. I'm, I'm trying to ignore the price. It's just, it, it tastes good, it feels good, and it kind of gives you kind of like the, um, uh, almost kind of like a soft welcome to whiskey, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like a good for a beginner, I would say. Yeah, if you're looking for a blended whiskey, yes, go for that. Yeah. It's uh, it's affordable. It's good. It's good for the price. Um, and yeah. what's the 
volume, 40%? Yeah, 40%. What would you say about the For blended? this, I'm giving a nine. Oh, it's almost perfect, isn't it? For, it is. For whiskey, this yeah. is everything you want. It's got a smooth bite, it's got a fresh fe fe feeling, a nice sensation going down the throat. It's... And or, it's it, actually a very pretty cup. It is actually. And it's exactly what you would expect for the price that it is. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So yeah, it just depends on your price range of what you can get really. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, 10 times the price and I think it's... 10 times the value, definitely. Yeah, 10 times the value. It's better in every way. So I'm giving it a 9. Honestly, I think we've learnt that popularity is not as good as expensive in the world of whiskey. Yep. Yeah. I would so agree. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. So, to conclude, this is definitely a far more superior whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.